Gone Piggin by Billy Versus. Oi! Look over there in that thick scrub! Look at all the dust rising! Light the shotgun, it could well be a mum of pigs. I'll get you over the top of them so that you can get a proper shot. We better act quick. The whole mob is heading towards that paddock of land and there's a big storm about to hit. There must be at least 40 pigs in that mob and we don't have time to waste. Just as the helicopter got above the pits and Mick was hanging out the side, ready to shoot, a streak of lightning went sizzling through the air and the sound of thunder rolled to the clouds. Mick, quickly, get back in. We've got to get out of here before we get roasted by lightning. Sadly, they weren't able to save the lambs from the savage pigs. The next day, it was devastating to find fences pushed down everywhere, nearly all lambs gone, and the rest of the livestock scattered all over the place. The farm looked like a war zone. A big problem facing those who are trying to control the pig population is a pig's ability to live on almost any food type, ranging from crops to pasture and meat. Their diet is so varied and wide ranging that they can survive on almost any food source. Like humans, they are omnivores. Pigs do not only destroy farmland and livestock, but also carry lots of infectious diseases which can affect the health of people and livestock. One of the greatest threats is foot and mouth disease. The disease posed by feral pigs is regarded by some as a ticking time bomb. Another big problem with controlling the feral pig population is the rate at which they breed. A sow can produce two litres a year with 10 to 12 piglets a litter if the conditions are right. At the present time, there are estimated to be up to 24 million feral pigs across Australia. Roughly the same amount as a human population. It is said that they double their population every year. Herds up to 400 pigs have been recorded in Cape York. And imagine if herds like that could be found all over Australia. There are many programs underway trying to control the feral pig population. Some of these programs include trapping, baiting and shooting, of which helicopter shooting has proved the most successful. All of these have been effective in the short term. However, something needs to be done to be effective in the long term. The Feral Pig Control Program costs the Australian economy over $100 million annually. What a shame that as we live in a world that is so full of poverty and starvation, such a rich food source as the Feral Pig cannot be harvested and used to feed the millions of starving people throughout the world. Hopefully, one day, someone will see the wisdom in not wasting such a valuable food source. Thank you very much for listening.